Hello, folks. It's game 83, and uh, let's see. Oh, my opponent's playing hey, hey, the bird's opening. And guys, you're going to see how I like to play against this opening. Basically, what I do is I quickly develop my queen side, castle to the opposite side, and attack. For those of you who are new, we're following this plan put together by the guy that, that I follow on YouTube. And I'm leaving in the description the links to his lessons on opposite side castling attack so so far nothing extraordinary just developing my pieces h5 my first uh, attempt to attack their king h4 notice that i'm not castling yet i want to get a head start and then i commit to the queen side so i finally develop my bishop or yeah yeah why not and now let's see let's see how we can get to their king before before they get to ours now uh, my bishop is being attacked so let me just go back to f5 or maybe yeah why not let's just go to f5 and uh if they take we take back we're gonna have double pawns but we also get pretty good control over e4 and g4 all right i think it's time to castle or hmm. yeah why not guys why not oh oh oh, oh, oh. big mistake <laughs> fork no nope, my opponent didn't see it so let's eliminate that knight and then we collect on, on d5 with, with Tato. So Tato is happy on, on d5. And guys, all I'm looking for right now is to get to their king. That pawn on h4 is one move away from making contact. But also I cannot let them collect on f7. So maybe... Hmm. And by the way, guys, those of you who are new, every time we get to the middle game, I leave you with my jam. That way I can focus and try to win the game. This game, I need to win. Because I've, I have had like uh, like two or three losses already. Stock at the 1700. All right, so I think I think we got a rook. And it's unusual, but the rook is trapped. Yep, yep. So Tato is very well placed in the center. But the pawns are the ones doing all the work over here. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they're going to do something like... Hmm. Well, actually, I'm not sure what they're going to do. Okay, so I guess we get the rook. And now, but it's not about getting the rook only. We're also opening up the G file, guys. So that knight <laughs> wants to get to G6. But now, after rook G8, this is just a dream position for any attacking player, guys. Open line towards the king. Now, rook G3. Let's double up our rooks. And after that, the game should be over. Now, when I put my rook on G8, not only am I attacking G2, but I'm also attacking H3 because G2 is, is uh, pinned. So something to keep in mind. And notice that this time, for a long time, we are not in time pressure, guys. So let's see if we can stay put. All right, that's a free knight. I don't think that was necessary. But to be honest, they were in a lot of trouble. Notice how my opponent never did queen f2 or queen e2. I'm thinking they don't feel comfortable giving the queen for two brooks. But there is a lesson that the other guy has on, on his channel about how the two rooks could be better than, than the queen. All right, this is it, guys. If they don't resign, well, checkmate should be in the in the zone. All right, e4. Now we take, of course, check. And huh, do I have, how about rook g1? And then what would you do, guys, after queen takes a rook? Well, check. They're not going to block because that would be checkmate. Then check again. And now I think it's time to get or hmm what if we just do we have any checkmates here hmm it would be nice if there were a tactic here you know what guys i'm gonna keep it simple let me just go back to to where i came from and uh we should be winning this anyway so let me not get fancy i cannot afford to lose another game yeah that's it give me the bishop and don't be surprised if they just resign no, there's no resigning here. All right. Now, queen g2 be checkmate. If they do, of course, now queen e1, the king has to move. And we get the rook for free. Of course, uh, checkmate has to be there in the next move. There you go, guys. This was a better game after a long time. So I will see you in game number 84.